Hello, hi friends, and welcome back to my channel. So 2022 was a great year for benefits, and we've got a couple of incredible PR drops that we're going to unbox, review, and give it a try. So I already have a full face of benefits. So let's complete the look with all these PR drops. And first up is the latest PR drop is the Gimme Brow. Let's see how we can snatch these brows. I mean, let's be honest, Benefit is the brow queen. They always snatch with the fleekiest, fleekiest, flakiest, flakiest, fleekiest, on fleek, brows. So the PR drop included three products, uh, two of the classics. This is the 24 hour brow setter, and this is a mini, I quite enjoy minis in PR drops. The all purpose sharpener, really enjoy sharpener, always needed. And this is the star of the show. This is the Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil in shade 3.75. And this is a warm medium brown. Uh, let's do a quick check. So this is the beauty in the classic benefit design, capped off sleeve. And it is a wooden pencil on the one side with a gorgeous full size spoolie. So the Gimme Brow is the latest brow pencil. It's actually made with silk cotton fibers. So it sticks onto your natural hair and your skin. So it's got a blur effect that gives volume to the brows. It is also water and transfer proof, 10 different shades, and it lasts up to 12 hours. Let's see how it actually performs on the brow. I personally have very full and bushy, stubborn brows, but I do like to define the tails and just sharpen up the bottom line and fill in any gaps. So this might be something that I really enjoy. But before we start, the brow pencil is a little bit blunt for me, so I'm gonna sharpen this now. So I'm just gonna use the pencil sharpener that was given with the drop. And I can already feel that the pencil is quite Quite a hard pencil, it's not very creamy, um, but let's see, bring this mirror closer, let's see how it performs. Oh, it's pigmented. So it really does blur out when you comb it through with a spoolie, but it, she's pigmented. She's going on with no issues. So I just personally draw a line at the bottom of my brow to shape that up and then take the spoolie and brush that product through the entire brow. Once I've got that and I can shape it, I'll go on top of my arch and just fill that in and extend a little bit. There we go. You can see the before and after on that brow. I quite like the shade. The shade's not too deep. It's got a nice cool tone to it. Even though it's a warm brow pencil, it's got a bit of an ash to it, so it's not too overpowering on the brow. Let's see the other side. The formula of this pencil is insane. It really has pigment and it grass. Personally, I'm not a big fan of a thicker pencil. I like something very ultra fine as it just shapes my brow and fill in with the finer details. A pencil like this, I just feel like my brows get bigger, bigger and bulkier and quite the statement. So I can definitely see this working for someone that's got very fine hair, hardly any brows that just want to sculpt and shape um, and define the brow from start to go. Um, yeah, I'm just so scared because I want to go in more, more, more and just going to get bigger. So I'm going to leave it there. Let's actually set it with the other product that was in the pack. This is the 24 hour brow setter. This is the clear brow gel or just a little applicator. And after the brows is done, we can actually, I like to comb back on my brow hair to cover all the brows and then put them in place with a moving up, brushing up motion. And with this, I can just create a quite a fluffy brow. I mean, look at that, that's cute. I really like that. The first time I'm using this, I'm well impressed because the formula is very liquidy, but she sticks. 
I must say the, the gel, the 24 hour brow setter really elevated that and changed my mind with the brows because now I actually enjoy it. It's a little bit more fluffy. It is not as sharp and defined and bold. I think this is going to be a good look with like just mascara, uh, no eyeshadow. In that note, let's get into the next product that is the blushes. I'm uh, quite excited. So let's get an unboxing. So the cutest little totes alley. Uh, tote bag. The press event was so gorgeous. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it, but they sent over the blushes. So let's get unboxing with this. So let's read a little bit of the claims of the products. So it's available in 12 new shades, silky soft powder, smudge proof, humidity proof, and sweat proof, and non -com -comendo -com comedogenics. <laughs> Feels ultra fine and weightless, blends seamlessly and builds effortlessly, effortlessly, uh, airbrushed soft focus blurring effect. Okay, so it does say a lot. I really enjoy the Hula formula, uh, the bronzer. So let's see the shades and pick a couple of shades and do like a blush moment. So let's get into the packaging. It is a cardboard classic packaging with a magnetic closure. The packaging also incorporates a mirror with the gorgeous palette uh, pressed blush inside. It's a beautiful packaging and really nice and stackable. It's gonna look stunning on your vanity or in your makeup kit. Uh, me personally, I'm definitely gonna depot these and put it in a Z pan uh, to keep it nice and safe and all together for my clients. But let's get into the shades that they sent over. Crystal, a strawberry pink blush with a gold reflect. Um, more on your shimmery side. Pom Pom is a pomegranate rose blush. It's a very subtle matte blush. Uh, quite excited to give this one a go. Moon is a rich berry blush with a pink reflect. Peachin is a golden peach blush, very light, more of a highlighter actually. Villa is a very soft, neutral rose blush, very buildable, but also a rose reflect. Finally, I've got Terra that is a golden red brick blush with a gold reflect. I selected three of the blushes to create a full face, eyeshadows, draping, blush moment. Pom Pom, I'm thinking of going in more of like a bronzing contouring as it's very subtle and a deeper matte tone. Um, crystal for my more blush uh, color application because it's got that gorgeous strawberry blush tone yet with a gold reflect. And then with Peachin, I'm going to highlight as this is the lightest blush that also has a soft gold peach reflect to it. So let's get into it. So Pom Pom is picking up quite pigmented on the brush. So let's see how it blends out. Wow. It, never trust a swatch. Never trust a swatch. It's swatched super subtle on my end. But how gorgeous is this? So I'm just placing it more as a contour than a blush applicator and pushing it into the crease of my eye and temple into the hairline and just gives that gorgeous definition to the skin to the face i'm going to take the same blush and just with a smaller detail fluffy brush just with a smaller eyeshadow brush i'm just going to push that color into my lid to create like sort of like a blush monotone makeup look very quick and easy i must say the pigment really blends out battery it is very soft it blends out gorgeously i did load it up a little bit on the cheeks and in the crease but it's just absorbing really beautifully into the skin and uh, that's the thing with the blush Sometimes you apply a blush, it's super pigmented, and a couple of minutes later, your body and the product just absorbs into the skin. I'm gonna go in with Crystal, um, this gorgeous raspberry. That pigment picks up, so I'm quite scared. Oh. Oh. I like to apply the blush over the entire lid and temple, and it just marries everything together, bridge of the nose and a little bit on the forehead. Oh, I've got to stop. I'm going to go ham on this blush. It's so gorgeous. 
Okay, lastly, it's not as if I need any more highlighter, but let's give this one a go. Uh, highlighter brush and with Peachin. And let's see how that picks up and deposits with a brush very close to the bottom lash line. And just has that gorgeous reflect to it. It's catching the light gorgeously. I'm going to go for the eyeshadow brush. And just over the entire look. Stunning. I'm going to take terracotta on that eyeshadow brush and I'm actually just going to push that color in my lower lash line just to deepen that up and into the crease. Oh, that just elevated that look. That just brought some definition into the eye look. So my thoughts on the new blushes, gorgeous range. It definitely, I was unimpressed, to be honest, when I swatched it with my fingers, I was like, where is it going? But it picks up gorgeously with the brushes. Um, I built up quite a look using four of the collection. I really like it. And you can create a beautiful, soft, summery, elegant look with just blusher. Um, no need for extra products or bronzers or anything else. And I think it just like came together gorgeously. I'm just gonna blend this out and then we're gonna go into mascara and liner. Lastly, again, a gorgeous another bag with two new products. Let's get into it. Their Real Extreme Precision Liner. Let's read a little bit more about this product. It's extreme precision, major versatility, and eye-opening innovation, waterproof, smudge-proof, and flake-free, buildable, quick set formula, and weightless feel with a satin finish. But what makes this incredible is the 0.1 millimeter tapered brush tip made with ultra-fine, firm, yet flexible br um, bristles. So this is a brush tip applicator and not a felt tip applicator. Um, and of course, that's just a personal preference. Some people like something more hard like a felt tip and others more flexible uh, like a brush or bristle tip. So the Extreme Precision Liner is available in two shades, black, that's up to 24 hour wear and Extreme Brown for 12 hour wear. Let's give it a go. Wrapped in a cardboard box, the liner has the most insane color. It's not red, it's not pink, it's not coral or orange. It's just a gorgeous shape to it and very comfortable in the hand. And the felt tip is super, super fine, yet flexible. We do a couple of swatches. Wow, it is literally soft to the touch. Incredible and the blackest of black. So personally, I am not a wing liner uh, applicator or wearer just because I've got hooded eyes and a very small lid. But in the sake of a review, let's do a mini liner. Uh, let me do the one eye and get back to you now. Honest, honest, honest first impression on this one. This liner is incredible. This wing was so easy to do. Uh, as you can see, I did a bat wing because hooded eyes and I can't help myself and do bold graphic liner and it was incredibly easy to map out. Pigment was there and it's so delicate. This tip is so delicate to design any look. So first impression, loved. I'm throwing all my other liners out and only keeping this. It's like done deal. I mean, just look. So I tried my best to have matching liners, but it's all we're gonna get. Liners always sisters, not twins. But one thing about this that I noticed about the liner, it's got a little bit of a, a ball shaker inside that I noticed keeps this liner tip moist. It's constantly wet, but it dries instantly. So when I was creating my very dramatic bat wing liner and I was repositioning my lids, it didn't transfer flake or lift in any way. And the application, as you can see, is the blackest of black and with this gorgeous satin matte finish. Um, really enjoy it. So let's finish the look with mascara and check out the new bang. So bad girl bang, we love it. Uh, but this is the new waterproof formula. So let's read a little bit more about it. This is the waterproof version of the best or top selling mascara. Um, it's custom big, 
slim packed brush reaches lashes root to tip okay that's a long word for just saying an ultra fine flexible brush tip okay it's just gonna do that what i do love about the bad girl it actually does grab every last lash and is amazing on the lower lashes so this formula is 60, 36 hours full blast volume that won't weigh down lashes so let's give that a definite try gravity defined formula that layers easily for bigger impacts and that is one thing that i do enjoy about the benefit mascaras is it layability that it doesn't clump or go too spidery with your lashes so let's do a quick unboxing and probably the sexiest sultry packaging i mean it's got a purple to green shift metallic finish to the classic bad girl packaging with the green detailing so it looks gorgeous and the brush applicator yep the beautiful brush tip that we love it is sort of like a taper to a tip with tiny little silicone brushes let's give it a go i'm first going to curl my lashes and see if it's really going to hold the curl or be too thick and weigh it down so I called my lashes, so let's give this a go. The spoolie doesn't pick up a lot of product that could be good. Let's give this a first hit. Wow. <laughs> wow. One blink. And they are coated. Of course, I spill everywhere. But a note, if you do make a little mistake with your waterproof mascara, let it dry and then it just flakes off later. Don't panic. If you're going to move it now, you're going to smudge and make a bigger problem. Just let it be. But let's go back to this first impression. It literally grabs every single bottom lash. It's like defined. It's not clumpy. It is black, black, black. Like Benefit knows how to make a mascara. I'm sorry. Okay, I had a moment with this mascara because I instantly fell in love with it. I mean, let's just have an AB finish on it. It is literally, I've got lashes. Bottom lashes are coated, defined. My top lashes are separated and elongated and really there is volume in these lashes. And I don't have a lot of long lashes or any lashes to be honest. So to give this kind of finish is insane it feels very lightweight it doesn't feel like there's a lot of product or heaviness or clumpiness on my um, lashes so i do feel it's going to hold the cool way longer um yeah i'm going to do the other eye and wrap up this review with you guys so this is the final look using all benefits latest products from 2022 i must say well impressed and there's a couple of firm favorites already and i think you guys know what it is the gimme brow volumizer is a beautiful pencil but is maybe best suited for people that has hardly any brows or very delicate fine brows i really enjoyed the brow setter as it gave me fluffy brows and it's definitely something that i will keep in my kit blusher collection is gorgeous it's buildable it's super soft and blends out perfectly so from the collection i am not quite sure i would like to try the other shades but the ones that were sent to me crystal is definitely a favorite uh, terra is a gorgeous one and also moon was one of the top ones for me i really enjoyed it as it's now settled a little bit it just has this gorgeous natural blush finish so my favorite from 2022 yes you guessed it is definitely their real extreme precision liner and bad girl bang waterproof mascara these two just blew me away first impression was just there so these are definitely going to be restocks in my personal kits as well as my professional kits so that is that for benefit 2022 i'm quite excited to see what 2023 lies for benefit and for all of us until next time bye bye